Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Well, I'm not sure how you saw me there, but thanks for the welcome. And you might be asking yourself, Kevin, why would you buy a 60 euro invisibility cloak just for this video? And to that I would say, I'm naked. Nudity aside, if you played the PS1 versions of Harry Potter, you might remember that they are kind of strange. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's- Oh, uh. So we're gonna play through the thing and see what it's really like. This part is very confusing. Dumbledore comes to greet Harry and Harry alone. Unless all the others just died in a horrible train accident. After all, he is the boy who lived. The third floor corridor is out of bounds too. I don't know why he specifies that either because all of the doors are locked like they literally don't allow you go anywhere except the Great Hall. Oh no wait this isn't the Great Hall. <laughs> this isn't great at all at all. I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty you see. I okay I don't want to talk to this painting like Harry would have never seen any of these paintings yet and that is sus at best. That is one giant book. Yes I want to read that book. Oh, oh, okay. That that's it. I see why you keep it out on this table, ready to be read at any point. Gringotts goblins today insisted that nothing. Hey, have you seen the new Harry Potter the guy? Oh, you mean the famous one? Yeah, he's kind of weird. He's just standing in the middle of the common room, reading aloud to himself. Wait, what the hell? Oh, there's. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I okay. I just walked through a wall. He's just around like he owns the place, but he doesn't have a clue. I think he's just looking for an escape. Remember me, Ron Weasley. Oh, here he is, the man himself. I like how this is how he's introduced in the game. Like we get no backstory whatsoever. All I know is he's taking me in here, and he just locked the door. And here comes the biggest burn in video game history. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? <laughs> Harry then immediately tried to kill himself from fall damage, but sadly, it did not work. I'll double back and watch the entrance. Mm. I honestly think this guy is a double agent. Like, if I didn't know the full story and what happens, he just led you into this room, some other kid berated you and your dead mother, and they locked you inside and ditched you. Hello, Harry. Oh, great. Now a ghost with his head falling off is talking to me. I hate this school. <laughs> Look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Imagine getting that sort of a physical challenge from a ghost who locks you in a room on your first day in school and then he just skips off into the wall and leaves you there. Like, look at this, I can't get out! But do not worry, because the real magic is Harry's upper body strength as a 10 year old. Whoop, there we go. Hogwarts school for acrobatics and flexibility. I mean, you didn't believe there was actual magic, did you? It also doubles as an insane asylum, funnily enough. Press the cross button to cast the flippendo knockback jinx from your wand. Oh great, I'm into combat already. Why is this ghost even teaching me magic? <laughs> Where are my teachers? And off he goes again, just skipping into the wall, leaving me here. I'm gonna pacifist this and just walk by everything. For all I know, those are students that have been terrorized by the same ghost. Is this supposed to be Quirrell? Oh, that is a fantastic picture. <laughs> Damn it, I thought that would impress him. He's not even reacted. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? Yeah, a little bit of sadness. I could tell they were students. Wait, why is that rat dancing? Okay, now I'm starting to believe they are students. And that's the guy that's turning the students into these monsters. Not the, the cloaky guy here, the, the ghost over there. That's him. He's a bad dude. I'm Neville Longbottom. Why are you waiting for me here? Why have you locked the door? <laughs> Tell me or I'll kill you. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Lependo. Oh wait, no, he's another victim. He's stuck in here with these books. This really is a castle of torture, isn't it? I think that kid just crapped his pants. Did, did anyone else hear that noise or was that just me? Oh no, they've imprisoned my owl as well. These people are horrible. Honestly, I think it's just a bad school and they're just like, oh, that Voldemort guy really ruining everything, huh? <laughs> when in reality, they're the bad guys. All I'm saying is maybe Voldemort wasn't such a bad guy. Oh my God, what a stressful first day at school. <laughs> I think the bird just crapped there as well. Did you see that? Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Oh yeah, how could I forget the annoying flying mini games? They are very, very real. Uh, and you'd think, hey, I gotta do it. That's school. You know, school isn't meant to be fun. But then you realize there's no one else at the feckin' classes. It's just me. I think they have some orphan hatred going on in Hogwarts. Granted, kind of a bad history, you know, the Voldemort guy and everything, but I'm nothing like him. Most of the time. The next test is a little harder. 
but there are bonus house points if you succeed. I don't care about bonus house points. Why? I don't even know what my house is. No one explained anything to me. I just arrived here and you have me flying on a broomstick. Two days ago, I would have been sweeping the floor with this thing. Oh! What? I didn't even go close to you. What are you ooing about? Oh! <laughs> it's like the worst ghost impression ever. Well done, Potter. I shall award 10 house points for that fine performance. Could you feed me instead? <laughs> All right, no, okay, I'll go back through the hoops. Whatever you say, miss. Oh my god, this is awful. Just just to fill you in on how this experience is, it's awful. Stop ooing at me. Okay, I have 22 to go and about 12 seconds left on the clock. So how many do I have to get per second? Uh, not sure, but it's definitely more than I'm getting. Well done, Potter. A good score. Oh, okay. You've mastered the basics of broomstick control. And it's my first day, too. Or are you just saying I did so bad that I'm going to be like the new janitor or something? Have you met her mom? yet. She's a real know-it-all. Okay, that's rude. Why are you introducing her like that? I don't know why the camera is following her now. She just runs off. That was a really long and unnecessary scene. Is it just trying to show me what way to go? Because they lock every other door. Like, I don't really have a choice in where I go. That's the sound it makes when I try and do magic. It just sounds like he has really bad allergies. Damn it, Harry. Take an antihistamine. Oh, no. I forgot in my spell book. I'll catch you up, Harry. Oh, great. Another trap. Oh, what was that? They both tried to run out of each other's way and just smacked right into each other. Okay, so another convenient excuse for Ron to not join me. Get to the charms class before the timer runs out. What? What, what do you mean? Who are you? Why is it a speed run to get to class? And if so, why aren't you in a rush? Are you in charge here? I'd like to talk to my attorney. To be fair, this doesn't look very hard. I, I mean, it's easy for me to say. I think Harry's struggling physically, especially since they don't feed him. There's the teacher. Look at him. He's just watching me struggle. Welcome to charms class. You're just in time. Yeah, sorry. I would have been here earlier, but you know, you made it the most difficult thing in the world to attend your class. And then Ron just runs in at the end. Oh, I forgot. It's a mini game to learn every spell. You're not as good of a teacher as the ghost was. <laughs> Although looking at your entrance to your class, maybe you just like making things harder than they need to be. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, Harry, no need to be dramatic about this. The game won't let me hit people with things. What kind of game stops you having fun, huh? Oh my god, I don't get a moment's rest in this school. Dear Harry. Oh, great. And now I'm getting some letter from a stalker. Your friend. Hagrid. Oh, wait, no, it's PS1 Hagrid. If anything, I'm his stalker. I love that dude. Sure, there's not many pixels, but the ones that are there are handsome as feck. You know, if Voldemort really wanted to destroy Hogwarts, gas leak. There are floating candles just wandering the halls. And don't tell me that's beneath him. He's living on the back of some dude's head under a turban. Wait, I'm 14% done already? Jesus, I am speedrunning this thing. I gotta try and get out of here. How do I get out of this castle? Oh my god, what is going on here? Imagine getting a letter. Her. Dear sir or madam, during the course of his or her schoolwork, your child has been impaled in their skull. We've sent an owl with the body. <laughs> Well, well, oh my god, I have this guy waiting for me. I was wondering why Dumbledore wasn't here. In fact, I don't think he appears in the rest of the game. He was just some lunatic who somehow got into the castle. All right, now he won't let me leave, will he? Can I scoot by you there if you wouldn't mind? Um, excuse me there, sir. I, I don't know, like, are you doing this intentionally or? Oh, boo-hoo. Oh yeah, he's just entrapping me here. I mean, everyone else does too. He just does it in a slightly more rude way. Not to worry, I'm going to lift these timers up on top of these pillars and then hopefully you just die or something excellent <laughs> i don't understand does he just walk away now i don't get it i thought the problem was that he was in my way not that the door was locked oh wait now okay <laughs> that explains it. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. Is that some sort of drug? Because I think I'm already on it. You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. So yeah, it's not actually a drug. It's this weird mini game where they had a game about magic and spells and, and you know, dueling and stuff. And instead you like throw Christmas crackers at each other for the combat, but you don't have any. Because you're an orphan. Your parents didn't buy you crackers. No, you gotta just pick up the other kids ones and then just throw them back at them. It is really weird. Okay, now we're fighting to the death. I love this little picture of his face. As you can tell, I'm kind of a natural. <laughs> 
little bit danger close, but we got him. I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. You are a little dweeb, aren't you? <laughs> and who's this goon? Like, he doesn't even look like a child. He looks like some sort of goblin. Okay, so I can't pick up his crackers anymore, but luckily his goon just keeps throwing me some help here. He also dances when he gets hurt, apparently. Goyle, get in here! Oh, his other henchman is showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Even their reactions are just so good. It's just evil gremlin. Oh, thank you for the clap. Oh no, you're summoning your goons. One of them is definitely on my side, by the way. You're a very bad friend to them. I, I have a feeling it's the guy who's going the wrong way. Yeah, that don't worry, he, he gets there eventually. He's just a little bit slower than most. Oh, there he is. It's him. It's PS1 Hagrid. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a big fan. Come round me hot later for tea. Oh my god, and a date too. This is fantastic. I'm loving this. Harry's stare. He's just thinking, I think that. That man's a groomer. Okay, let's fail this just to see what the teacher says. Like, boo-hoo, I'll miss the class. I don't care. Uh, what happens now? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I just keep going? You're late for Herbology. Five points from Gryffindor. That is so harsh, honestly. Would you like to try again? No, I'm not playing your game. Well, I am, but I'm not like playing into your like weird test thing you got here. Let's try the incendio spell to wither a bouncing bulb. Oh yes, she's teaching me spells that can kill plants, sentient plants. This is great. Harry. This whole school is so cruel. Okay, well, I've learned that spell now. At this rate, I'm gonna know 5,000 spells at the end of the year. I feel like this school could be like a weekend class instead. All right, I finally get to go to Hagrid's. At least I get my reward for such a hard day. I used to have a puff skein. But Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Wait, what? W one of those things? Are you saying they beat the bejesus out of these things with bats? God damn it, I'm friends with the wrong people. Oh, here you are, Hagrid. It's good to meet you. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? Oh, wait, you just wanted me to do a chore for you, really? I've had such a long day, dude. This is very overwhelming for me. Be careful, Harry. Was that a threat? Okay, all right, you know what? I'll do your task. Sorry for causing a fuss. Is that Neville? Where the hell is he going? I think he was supposed to interact with me, but he just ran away. Have you got those fire seeds? No. <laughs> he almost sounded offended that I don't have them for him yet. I don't even know where to look. Oh, yeah, uh, I think Neville was going to warn me about something like this. Very strange choices of attacks, this uh, Voldemort fella. Like, I get this is dramatic, but I'm just telling you, I think a gas leak would do it. I really do. <laughs> There we go, defeated. Luckily, it wasn't that bad, actually. This Voldemort guy is kind of lame. If they didn't have vastly different body types, I would really think that was Hagrid under there. He kind of set me up, it seemed like. Oh my god, there's lava. I should not be helping this man. I'll always remember this part because I didn't have a PS1 memory card for the longest time and I kept getting to around here before my parents would turn it off. So I just ended up replaying this early section of the game like a dozen times. So I think I have to overfeed the these creatures. Oh no, I don't overfeed them. I get them trapped in a vent. There we go. Sucks to be you. And away I go. Oh, this one I overfeed, I think. Okay, eat the bush. No, don't eat me. Eat the bush. There you go. And now I'll trap you in the vent. Oh no, I need to get you even more big and fat. Get this. There you go. Look at that thick boy. All right, now get over here. Wait, the door's locked. What, what do I do then? Oh, I need to go over there, don't I? Oh, for God's sake, can I get him out? I don't know what to do. Oh my God, he's eating so much. I, I'm feeding him so much. <laughs> Wait, is he going to be too big? He's too big to fit in this one. What the hell will I do with him now? He's become so dependent on me. I guess I'll just keep being an enabler. Here, eat more. Oh my god, he's a monster. I think I've actually soft locked the game. I cannot progress. <laughs> guess I'll just hop in lava then. Huh, surprisingly rigid. <laughs> it's very solid surface, this lava. The boy who didn't live. Yeah, not, not a very happy story. <laughs> Look at the little screen it gives you. It's like, no, Harry, don't you jump in the lava again. Okay, now just gotta get the- Oh my god, Hagrid, you're a lunatic. Do you really want this child's death on your hands? Jesus Christ, this is way too intense for me right now. I just want to learn spells, goddammit. I just want to be a normal child. Like, this is so much exercise, and look what they're feeding me. They're feeding me beans off the ground. Ah, incendio! 
Oh my god, that was so fast. Harry simply picks up the item that's on fire as he has lost the will to live. Look at him, swapping his face between small and large. I bet the little one is the Voldemort face. That's definitely Voldemort in this game. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Oh yeah, I have lava all over them because of that stupid quest you just sent on me. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small. It's small? You could fit in the fireplace and you're literally a half giant. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Now you're legally the father and you'll have to pay me child support. You're a true friend. I want you to have this book. Oh great, I had to do the quest and now I have to read. <laughs> this isn't a reward at all. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, I might be able to get some rest now. I haven't slept or eaten since I got here. Follow me, Harry. Oh no, there's now? more. <laughs> if you're leading me into an ambush, I'm going to kill you this time. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Let's go and see what he wants. How about you take care of this one, Ron? I've been doing a lot today. All right, no, I have to. Please help me. I would say maybe go tell the headmaster, but the guy's a lunatic, so I guess I kind of have to help. Think you can catch me? And you better watch out for my bludgers. Hey, all is fair in love and war. I'll aim for the bludgers if I have to. Boom, right in the bludgers. Oh, that little face he pulls really looks like a guy who's been hitting the bludgers. There we go, I got it. Sorry about your bludgers, Draco. Honestly, probably better off. You'd never have kids. First year students may not compete in Quidditch. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. What? You're I only learned to fly to today and Manchester. like that, I know that was okay, but I don't even know what Quidditch was. <laughs> and like, I know that chase with Malfoy was okay, but I don't even know what Quidditch is. I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Yeah, I'm gonna need it, thanks. You're the youngest secret Hogwarts in a century. This whole thing feels like a wild fever dream. I think Harry is actually in a coma. He's imagining all of this. The Quidditch pitch has three go- Watch out for the bludgers. Luckily the announcer is filling us in on how the game works because otherwise Harry would just be flying around there without a clue with what's going on. Here comes Potter! Wow. <laughs> the crowd loves him. Definitely in a coma. He's out here doing loops and everything. Wait, this crowd isn't even real. It's just painted on. Here comes the Hufflepuff Seeker! The blank expression, the little smile <laughs> on their seeker. I honestly think they deserve it because they're not out here to win. They're just having a good time. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't want to fly through those hoops. No, that was an accident. Oh, and now I need to grab the snitch in my hand. Hold on, I got this. Yes. Actually, he doesn't. He's, he's still chasing him. Kind of would seem like the game is rigged, to be honest. Remember my name. It's Professor Snape. <laughs> Why is this teacher meeting me in the grounds? Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? This seems a bit hostile. Should I report him? Although I guess it would be unfair to report him and not Hagrid for trying to get me killed in the lava. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Okay, well that sounds like a you problem, so I don't have to get it, do I? The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Yeah, in this world, it feels like school isn't really necessary. You just Google how to open door and it just tells you. Wait, what? What is the idea here? What am I trying to do with these plants? Oh, there's just beans? I don't really care about the beans. I'm not lowering myself to that level where I'm eating beans off the floor. They either feed me or I die of starvation and they deal with the lawsuit. So I found the brain that Snape wanted me to find. I, or maybe that was like, like kind of an analogy, like he wanted me to find a brain because I'm not intelligent. God, I'm slow. No, but for real, they put in so many weird tasks and minigames that have nothing to do with the movie or learning spells or anything. It's just like, hey, um, there's a brain missing from potions, uh, go get it, I guess, or something. Which is kind of weird, because they had so much to work with, and like, the books were out, like, there, there was so much you could add in, but... Oh well, I found the brain, I guess. Long story short, goodbye. <laughs> I think this is the furthest I ever got before I got my memory card. So we're in very uncharted territory here. I don't really remember this as well. Harry, meet me in the dungeons. This is a trap for sure. <laughs> I just mentioned I don't remember this part and she's like, this is the perfect time to spring our trap. The race for the house cup continues. He's talking about the house cup. I'm just racing for my survival here. I'm nearly dying on a daily basis. Come back here, hold the door. And ah. Dick. Snape gives me the willies. Oh my god, should we report him? Okay, Snape is just waiting around the corner. He's been waiting so long, his face has started to droop. It's sagging. So where was it, Potter? Within your own head? 
bring it to class. So how come I have to find everything for the class and then attend the class and watch him slowly walk away for some reason, which is very weird. And Ron can just walk off and say, hey, he gives me the willies. I'm not attending class. Bye bye. Please don't make me race. Please don't make me race. I've had enough. I'm not a racist, okay? I don't enjoy them. At last, Harry. Oh, so it wasn't a trap after all. Now pay attention, Potter. To mix a Wiganweld potion. No wonder Harry has such main character syndrome. The teacher just always directly addresses him and ignores everyone else. All right, I'm gonna speed run making this potion. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. Oh God, I don't have to drink this after, do I? Oh Jesus, that was toxic. Go fetch the jar of fireflies from the adjoining room. Okay, I'll go get your ingredients. Wait a second, Voldemort is in your ingredients cabinet. What the hell is going on? <laughs> that was a better attack than the floating gargoyle. Like, the gargoyle was cute, but this was more effective. He is letting the trolls do his dirty work, though. And by the way, any trolls in the comments, this is what you look like to me. Oh, and down he goes. He got banned from the channel. What? That didn't kill him? What the hell? Okay, there we go. He's just standing on it. Okay, okay, that one works. I'm pretty sure he was even more in the center earlier. Who is giving me points for this? Some sick, twisted teacher is watching me and going, yeah, five points to Gryffindor. Whilst the Dark Lord himself is trying to murder me. It's me, Raymond. Oh, Raymond, thank God. Kitchen? I'm being hunted by the... Uh, no, no I, I don't want to save your cat, dude. Someone's trying to kill me. Oh, that's not a cat. Where's this damn cat so I can get out of here? These aren't cats. Oh, there you are, you cute little thing. I've got a Dark Lord chasing me. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, God, he's fighting the rats. No, dude, they're double your size. Wait, am I not meant to be here? What? What? What's the story with the cat? What do we do with it? Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, of course, magic. Sorry, there's such little magic involved in this game. There's more acrobatics. I almost forget it's there. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for you. I appreciate the card. Um, maybe you could just free me next time I do you a favor, though, because I, I'm I am trapped down here, just so we're clear. But this will be great. I'm sure I can eat it or something. Wait, all of a sudden you have no upper body strength? Just climb up, dude. We'll. Just, all right, fine. We'll go across the cauldron way if that's how you want to play it. This is awful. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, how the hell are you supposed to do this? Oh, he got a good mouthful of it there. Okay, so if you hit it with magic, it stops it. They managed to combine magic and acrobatics. They're geniuses. I don't know if this is going to be jumpable or not, and it's making me nervous. I, I don't really want to take the chance and have to do the whole thing again. I guess I have to do it then. Uh, oh, it was a bit crooked. Okay, thank God. I honestly feel like that was a much more difficult physical feat than just jumping on this ledge. Oh, for you see, now I'm reaching the part of the game where it expects me to be advanced at this level of platformer. And it's gonna get harder and harder, isn't it? Okay, so the troll is sleeping and I need to go in and steal his key to get out of here. I would really appreciate it if that kid would just send some help instead. Oh, I think I woke him with a misclick. I found his kryptonite, everyone. I'm safe. So I guess I'll just run through that now. Oh, God damn. Oh, that sent me right out. That might be for the best, actually. You know, he's kind of really reasonable, actually. It hit me once because I spooked him. And then he realized I was a kid. And he was like, you go ahead back to class now and just politely close the door. I'm going back in to ruin his night. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> the little whisper. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! Okay, that's annoying. Okay, this time I will go right next to it so I can actually grab it. There we go. Okay, get out of here, Harry. Jesus. I think this time it's death. Yeah, take your time opening the door. That's fine. He's so casual about it. That is the ugliest key I've ever seen. Ah, for the ugliest door I've ever seen. How very fitting. It looks like it's looking at me. Yeah, it's eyes follow you. It's like the Mona Lisa, except this is actually a talented art. What the hell are these? <laughs> is this what Snape wanted or something? He's gonna complain I was late, isn't he? What's the deal, bro? You didn't send anyone to come look for me? I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Oh, no, he thought I take longer. Oh no, not this bit. And it's straight into another class too. I just don't remember all the classes just being back to back at the start of the game for some reason. Welcome young Mr. Potter. Oh my god, he's terrifying. I've never seen a face with such a perfect triangle frame. I just love how liquidy their face
face is going. They try and talk, though. I skipped whatever he's teaching me. I think it's Adava Kedavra. Oh, dear. I'm trying to get him to underestimate me. Now it'll leave me more embarrassing when I actually destroy him at the end. Watch out for this one. Okay, you have me alone in a dungeon. What are you going to do? I'm literally locked in the room with Voldemort and he's not doing anything to me. Just push me in the hole. I'll be one of 57 students that have died due to it. Impressive. Wait, that was it? Oh my god, he was the best teacher ever. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? That must be where the stolen object is. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's so much context missing here. I don't know my objectives and it's it's not telling me, so I'm not sure what I can do here. I guess I'll just wander around aimlessly until I progress. It's just like real life. Who said old games can't be realistic? It's just like real life. The exit to the dungeons is blocked by a horrendous set of curses. Oh no. Luckily you're a ghost that you can go get help, right? <laughs> There are four curses and Not right. Why, it's Potty Way Potter! Oh, maybe this ghost will help me. Young Potter, you're ugly, but what can we do? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Everyone's so mean here. You see, this is what I meant earlier. They took something that wasn't even in the movie and they put it in the game. That's really cool. Except though, yeah, he's just there to insult you all the time. Still though, like it's it's material from from the source, you know, it's not like you're looking for a brain or anything. I probably should get around to that though. Especially when I have to justify to my accountant that this is a business expense. This is important to my business. <laughs> I should probably actually use it to avoid any sort of audit because I don't think that would be a fun time for me. Amazon.co.uk slash maidsuit. Oh, for God's sake. I hate this school. I can't even do anything to it, can I? All right, I'm out of here. Oh, no, he's running. Okay, I found one of the eyes, at least. I am very happy to say I found the eye. Only three more to go. Ah, oh, you spawn camper. God damn it. Okay, another eye down. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. But I'm sure the world can spare these four. I think that knight thinks I am below the table because he keeps swiping away at me. <laughs> but it's not quite working. One more to go. These are getting harder and harder to find. Again, I'm getting points and someone's watching me do this stuff and just choosing not to help me. I bet it's PS1 Hagrid. Oh my god, the floor is so slidey. <laughs> what the hell am I sliding on? Am I in the sewers? Oh, there's so much stuff to deal with in this school. I want to go to Diagon Alley already and just get out of here for a while. Ah, even the eyes attack you. No, don't tell me. Okay, good. They're leaving. <laughs> the ghost is just standing there spacing out. I guess being dead for hundreds of years, he doesn't mind waiting around a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm finally getting to leave the dungeons. I thought I'd never get out of this place. Surely Slytherins must have a much lower life expectancy living in the dungeons for seven years. It's all slimy down there. I'm sure you're dealing with mold and radon. <laughs> oh, the door's just unlocked for Hermione. She doesn't have to do any weird tasks. That's convenient. The problem is I have no idea where she went beyond that door. It showed her going through and now I just can't find her on the other side. Finally, I found her. I searched like every room other than this one. Oh my god, these are getting so much harder. So much harder. Oh god damn. Please tell me that was the only one. Don't make me do that again. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Oh, maybe you can transfigure my ankle. I think I sprained it when I fell off one of those boards. Did she draw that picture? That's adorable. Not good. Why are you saying that? I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Oh, this spell is annoying to do. It's going to go faster and faster. And oh, okay, I got it. For once, I created life instead of taking it away. I love how he leaps off every ledge. Even if it's as small as this, just one step, he'll leap off. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. Everyone is just booing. No wonder everyone in Slytherin is nasty. Everyone's bullying them all the time. They're profiling them. They live in the dungeon, for God's sake. I love how these two knuckleheads are always standing by waiting for beans. No matter where you are in the castle, they're just waiting. I think they're bean addicts. We'll try the portrait password for, oh, say... Red every flavor beans? It's like they're hoping I won't figure my way out and I'll just have to accept their extortion. 
<laughs> Jesus, almost killed myself. Honestly, he wouldn't even care at this point. His life is miserable. Worst first day of school ever. Like, look at this. I finally get some happiness delivered by my owl and it gets stolen by a ghost. Let's have a chase through the attic then. Oh no, I remember this. This was awful. You have to like race him through the rafters and it's all slippy or something. I don't know. I think I repressed most of it. And he's getting me all dizzy before I even have to do it. This isn't fair at all. We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus. Oh yeah, slippery flobber mucus. That's the part I repressed. Okay, I got this weird camera angle which doesn't help and he doesn't even have to run on the boards. He's a damn ghost. The only thing Harry is is a ghost of his former self. All happiness is gone. The only thing that's kind of making me happy is none of these beans are going to Fred and George Weasley. They are all mine and I don't even want them. I just don't want them to have them. Ah, no! Good landing, Harry. Good job. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. No, why would you spawn me all the way back here? I was doing perfect right up until this part. Okay, he waited for me. Oh, that was nice. Wait, what? That's not very fair. I couldn't see it all with the angle. This place needs a structural engineer. I don't know how the place is held together. Magic duct tape, I assume. Or even better, magic flex tape. Oh, I just skipped half the course. I'm a genius. Here I go. Come on. Is this the finish line? Let me win. I'm the main character. I do not care about those beans. You are not baiting me into that. What purpose do these boards even have? They're just floating here. They're not supporting anything. What a cheat. All right, I managed to win. Oh, that was awful. So stressful. Now I know why you didn't show up in the movies. This is embarrassing that you lost this. You should be ashamed of yourself. I hope whatever's in that isn't fragile. Probably like picture frames of my mom and dad. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It would be some laugh if it was just an empty box and they're just trolling him. There's no such thing as an invisibility cloak. Well, that seems like a health and safety hazard. Just walk out the door and immediately drop. I've only now noticed his little picture in the boss menu and it looks really depressing. Could you spare some beans? To the forbidden corridor. Well, it was easier to get to than like any other corridor, so I guess I'll just go in. Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? Then why did you just lock the door behind me? I heard it. There are things in the forbidden corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. Like you? No, You're terrifying. No. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Please expel me. God, please expel me. <laughs> no! Oh, God. Ghost Harry just about caught it. Oh! Oh, Ghost Harry just about caught it. There we go, what a move. I hate the stealth things in these games. They're so punishing. There is something very special in the forbidden corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. Like when he's saying things like that, come on, you're trying to look guilty. You're trying to muddy the water. Luckily, in the cutscenes, the invisibility cloak doesn't run out. That's just part of the magic. You know, the, the cloak knows when it's needed. No, 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 I'm naked, I'm naked. Oh. <laughs> Close one. Ah, oh, you little flea bag. He caught me. And yes, I am talking about Filch there, not the cat. Wait, it sent me right back to the start? Oh my god, this is awful news. Okay, I got past the cat. Now I just need to get to the door. This should be easy enough. I don't know how he's not hearing me. <laughs> okay, the pressure is on. I really do not want to get caught. I don't want to go back to the start again. I nearly landed on the feckin' cat. Oh god, it's running out. Just hide in the corner, Harry. Blend in. Act like a portrait. Harry has no problem doing that. He can really imagine a portrait of himself up on the wall. <laughs> I just ran right by him going, ah, and opened the door right in front of him. He doesn't care. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? Oh, it's up there. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. I have enough time. Kevin, don't panic. Your blood pressure is rising, but that's just diet related. Ignore it, all right? Don't panic. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. We did it. All right, please be the end because I can't. I cannot go back to the start. If you send me back to the start, I'm giving up. If this video ends within the next 10 seconds, you know what happened. Oh yeah, sounds like a place I'd like to be. Come on, let me in. Now he's tiptoeing around when no one's here. Oh, that's why he thinks his reflection is looking at him. He doesn't realize it's himself. Harry, a huge troll is on the rampage. Oh, sorry, I was looking at my reflection for an hour. I do it once every day. I'm Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Wait, so, wait, hold on a second now. Because I was in this room and Dumbledore came in behind me. So Dumbledore is just choosing not to help here. If anything, I suspect him of letting the troll loose. 
Oh my god, dude, please stop. I've seen the rafters of this place. It'll collapse. Wait, I thought this was the girl's bathroom, it said, when I was going in. Why are they walking and looking like that? They're not even looking in the right way. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about this part. Oh, no, no, no. It's like the, the boulder levels in Crash Bandicoot, except not fun. Oh, no, Harry. Oh, my God. He jumped right through the concrete. Oh, thank God the nurse saved me. Oh, she sent me right back to him. Okay. How come Ron is so fast all of a sudden? Probably because he's saving all his energy doing nothing. No. Not again. Not again. Not again. Come on, Harry. We can do this. I really don't want to start from the beginning once again. It's just so janky to control because it's only the arrows you can use rather than the analog sticks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't even see where I'm going. Harry, Harry, you're gonna have to try and help me here. Can you at least give me a sign when a jump is coming? Why does this corridor even exist? What purpose could it have? It's like, oh, if you'll follow me, students, to the slime corridor. This is where all the slime through Hogwarts travels. How do you think slime is made, huh? It's magic. Okay, I'm glad I'm not a girl going to Hogwarts, because this is where the girl's bathroom is, at the end of those four long slime corridors. Are you alright? Hermione. How did you get there? <laughs> okay, so I gotta try and hit the, the toilet stuff flying at me? Okay, that's not too bad. It's not as fun as the Connect version for sure. Oh, that's hitting Ron. I don't mind that. Yeah, keep hitting Ron. That's fine. Oh my god, it was such a gentle little hit. I don't think we actually even needed that thing. He was a very weak opponent. Wow, did you see that? Thank you, boys. That's all I get, a little clap. Okay, we're done here. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Just got out of that death trap and they're like, get to Quidditch, Potter, now. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy. That didn't take much interrogation, did it? Welcome to Quidditch! Okay, I'm here at Quidditch. Honestly, McGonagall should be your seeker because she keeps finding me no matter how hard I try and hide from this damn sport. Here comes Potter! Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to match their enthusiasm, you know? I can tell it's all forced. He got it! I got it, and the paper crowd goes wild. Except for Snape. <laughs> their faces even look so different in this version. This is basically the first version of, Mom, can we get the new Harry Potter game? We have the Harry Potter game at home. Harry Potter at home. I've got some bad news, Harry. Oh no, here's where the child support comes in. Norbit is sick and I gotta take care of him. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get him. <gasps> I love Diagon Alley though, this will be fun. So Diagon Alley is a little bit weird in this game. It's just like a collection of mini games, and you've got to keep going back to the bank to do like death defying stunts to get at your money. And for some reason, I look back at it the most fondly out of the whole game. Like, I vividly remember that part. Probably because I spent so feckin' long on it, and some of the mini games are brutal. And I think I forgot that when I was playing the game. <laughs> I, I realize it quick though, it was fast and hard. Anyway, bye. Harry Potter, stay well away from here! Oh, Jesus Christ, I just wanted to buy a cake from you. You're not gonna get much customers like that, you know. Imagine every video I just started with. Get away from here! Leave the video! Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I appreciate the pun so much that I'm okay with it. Oh my god, the floor is so slippy. What the hell? Do you have slippery, flubbery mucus on this floor too? You know, Harry, as the person controlling everything about you, including your financial decisions, I highly encourage you to slip over right now and break your legs. If anyone has money, it's a bank. We can sue them for everything. Look at him. You did this. <laughs> you really must love your job. If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Oh, for God's sake, there's all of a task. Why do I use you as a service? I'd rather keep the money under my mattress rather than do this every time I need to make a withdrawal. And honestly, why am I even paying for it? It's Hagrid's stuff. Oh yeah, the child support. He's a crafty fecker, that Hagrid. Okay, I got the paperwork. I nearly broke my neck. Now I need to actually withdraw the money. And this is where it gets really, really tough. Okay, so this is how you withdraw money from a wizard bank, okay? You just have to risk killing yourself every single time. If you died, the bank keeps the money, by the way. I hit him, not you. Why are you overreacting? I thought that was a good thing. We kill him. <laughs> no, come on. I couldn't spin fast enough. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awful, isn't it? Well, there goes the money I did get. Oh, and we're off the rails. The goblin's just used to this. This is an everyday thing to him. 
<gasps> I got three. Okay, I just need to avoid getting hit, and I think I'm good. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Yeah, maybe next time you'll get me. Another go? Good lord, no. The annoying part is I know I have to do more of that, and I was hoping it was one of those things that you remember being really hard, but, you know, you get better at games over the years, and it's not too bad, but no, that was actually pretty damn awful. Hagrid informs me that you need peacock feathers. Yes, so if you could just sell them to me in a normal standard transaction, that would be ideal. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. Wait, no, no, that's not how this works. I would like to purchase them, not work for them. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. All right, I'll look for some stuff to blackmail you with then, so hopefully you will do this game. So this one, you need to sneak up on the peacock somehow. Yeah, you need to, like, stand on him. See that the peacock meter there <laughs> filling up in the top left? You need to, like, stay on him so that you get the peacock feather. Come here, you fecker. Come on, give me the damn feather why was i looking forward to this i can't remember i have very fond memories of this but i also have memories of getting stuck in it for hours die peacock oh i missed yes i got him wait what Dear me and if you have to use your wand keep it well away from my peacock sorry i think i censored the wrong part there so what is it in these can these help me at all because i'm struggling here i'm not gonna lie <gasps> Invisibility cloak! Yes, in the last one. God damn it, that didn't last very long. I didn't get anything from it. <gasps> yes, yes, it's. Oh, I walked into a box! Die, peacock, die! Yes, got him! And I thought you were a responsible young wizard. Ah, come on, fool you once, shame on me, but fool you twice, shame on you. Let me back in there. I'm gonna kill him this time. Yes, yes! Did I get it? I, I got. Oh, I need to get more than one? God damn! There's another one. Okay, I'm doing good. Half the time is gone. It's ticking faster. It's putting pressure on me. I hate it. But I think I might have another one. No, I spoke too soon. No, I might get it. Yes. Oh my God, I'm a master at whatever the hell this is. I suspected you would do well. Was that after the first or second assault? This kid is just on acid. I don't know what he is doing. In fact, I think I might be on acid. That's why all their faces are all liquidy. Now I need to go back and get more money. I'm not happy about this. I gotta gather farms again. Oh God damn you and your paperwork. So much red tape in the wizarding world. Except when it comes to building regulations, apparently. Or children's safety. Hello, Mr. Potter. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. Oh my god, you've already been on this ride a few times by the sounds of it. Either that or you're drunk. Use the cross button to lock the minecart. Wait, I can lock the minecart with X? Oh, that would have helped a lot. Maybe I should listen more, <laughs> just in general in life. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Hopefully this helps and I can get this in one go. I just hate retrying anything in life. They are so static through this whole journey. They do not care. They are desensitized to fun. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, those were the first ones I missed. I hope I can still do it. Surely. Like, I've been doing so well. No, 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 no. no. Why did I say that? I jinxed myself. God, it's getting faster and more disorientating. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I think I got three. Okay, now just don't hit into anything. And I think I'm good. <gasps> right at the end again. Oh, thank goodness. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. You don't sound very happy about that. I thought that was the guy hooing at me there, but no, that's probably an owl. You do kind of look like an owl, though. Like, I've never seen ten owls in an overcoat, but you kind of look like what I imagine it would be. Okay, I want that lazy owl's feather. And unfortunately, he has loads of hungry owls around him, but this should be easy enough. Here I come. With, with my nuts. Hold on. There you go. I don't know why I'm feeding him, by the way. I don't understand the logic how this will get me the product that I want. <laughs> Okay, that gets me a feather. It, it, it actually has no reasoning at all whatsoever. I thought there'd be some logic to it, but I don't know why. Okay, you can probably pick it up there, Harry. All right, you're overusing your magic a bit. Just use your hands. Use your hands. Come on, Harry. All right, all right, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, there you go. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Never. I will never call again. I'm not supporting local business anymore. If it's this hard to buy anything, I'll just use online. Oh, now for the final and hardest money thing. I'll be amazed if I could do this on my first try. You know what, I'm gonna save it because I'm afraid. I don't think my soul can handle doing those ones again. I haven't been including it, but every single time I've come in here, this guy talks to me and I get all turned around and I walk back out the front door. Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? Oh, you sound a bit sickle too. I swear they're looking for a personal injury lawsuit here, just forcing me to run around collecting these forms all the time. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose it this time. This is very difficult. No, it's so misleading too. Like, why is it going that way now? They did this intentionally for sure. Oh my god, am I still gonna do this? It's gonna be close. 
I did it! My first attempt to run is still intact. Now to do the hardest bit of all. Look at him. The final showdown. Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. I can see why I'm the only customer that's actually survived. There are bonus gems. He talks about the bonus gems, but they never explain what they're actually for. I don't know why I'm supposed to get them. I missed a few, and it's right at the start, and now I'm worried that it just won't let me complete it, even though it was only like four to six coins. I just don't know how strict this is going to be with me. It seems you're not as good as they say. Oh, come on, man. You really had to add insult to injury after that? Yes, that was good. Okay, I'm getting better now. I got a lot that I missed the first time, so I hope I can continue this trend. Spoiler, the trend did not continue. Oh, for feck's sake, now I lost some coins and I got all discombobulated. I didn't know where the pillar was. Okay, well, those who say practice make perfect clearly haven't seen me practice because that went worse. Okay, I got a loop. Great news. Oh, I missed that loop entirely, but I still don't know what they do, so it doesn't matter. That one does not give you enough warning, and then you can't recover for this one. I hate it. Oh, for feck's sake. All right. I got brain damage now. I think I don't care about the money anymore. Oh, nearly caught his little head. No, 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 no. Oh, God, that was too close. Okay, I'm doing well on those. No brain trauma this time. Oh, God, I'm not doing too well on the coins here, though. Come on, nearly enough. Is that it? I think that's it on the very last coin. Ah! It may sound like he's screaming, but he's actually celebrating. You want to try again? No, never. <laughs> Just wanted to say before I leave, um, you're great at your job, but you are worse than Voldemort. Probably killed more people indirectly too. I'm going buying a lot of drink to forget all of this ever happened. Oh God, and this shop is rat infested. Why did I need so much gold for this? Welcome to the magical menagerie, Harry. The only thing magical about it is the fact that it's remained open. But you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> are you a creep? Okay, so I gotta find a toad under here somewhere. Oh, there he is. All right. That good? Okay, what the hell is happening? I got one at least. Your ill-timed jinxes will destroy my shop. What are you on about? You told me to find the toad. He keeps going into the next one. I have to destroy them. God damn it. All right, you've nowhere else to go. <laughs> He's just accepted his fate. Okay, well, at least I've destroyed all of these. Now there's only downstairs to deal with. I guess out of sight, out of mind for her. She didn't notice. Oh, this is a nice far away one too. We can do this. Yes! Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! Okay, are we done here? I think I've done everything. Look, Hagrid's magically showed up now that there are no more tasks to complete. Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Yeah, I'm sure you'll take all the credit. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul. But I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Are you talking about me or the dragon? Because I'm feeling a little bit of a hostage situation beginning here. So... This one, yeah, I'm, I'm not naked anymore, I was cold. But this one is a little bit odd. So because they didn't include a lot of the source material in the mini games and the game in general, they just have to kind of redo parts of the story and be like, oh yeah, here's some context we entirely left out because you were looking for Snape's brain in the forest. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall for his detention Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Yeah, odd place to send a first grader, but okay. Oh no, I think this is another stealth part, if I remember correctly. Oh, I've never been happier to be wrong. <laughs> what the hell is this? I, I don't even know what purpose this is, so I'm just gonna keep running if you don't mind. Harry out here starting forest fires. Be some laugh if that's how Voldemort died. I mean, he's on the back of some dude's head. What's he gonna do, run away? What the hell are you? The game is telling me to attack you, but I don't know why. You seem peaceful. Even now, you're not even defending yourself. That just makes me angrier. You're going down now, buddy. Oof, I was a bit danger close there. What the hell was that noise? There we go. He just exploded for some reason. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. The way Harry reacts and just his thousand yard stare as they walk off, I really think he's having some dark thoughts about what he wants to do to people. I'm just really relieved this isn't stealth to be honest because I fully sure believed in my head that it was going to be stealth. I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I'm going to have to kill you now. 
Jesus, the vertical leap on Harry sometimes. I even skipped that middle section, just went straight up. Ah, there we go. It's Hagrid under there, drinking the blood of the unicorn to keep him alive. This is the most unrealistic part of the story. If some creature's blood could keep you alive, that would be like a huge product. Like they would be on the stock market as a company that you could invest in. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze. I really wish they didn't cover this part with the book because I would love to see a PS1 centaur. Oh, you've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Oh, this will make me feel better about almost being murdered. Ah, great. A flute. <laughs> this is like my Lord Voldemort whistle. If I hear him coming, I'll blast on it and hope you come up to save me. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. Oh, no, not another <laughs> mini game. Even when he gives me a gift, it's a chore. Well, listen to this. It's called Pain. I hope you like it. And by your expression, I think you do. Out like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. He's brought Fluffy off about three times. He's really almost forcing me to go check it out. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. I've been chasing peacocks. <laughs> we have to find a way to get past Fluffy. All right, we're already going after the stone. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Ron is bummed out. He finally has to do something in the story. He has done nothing up till now. You know what? Looking at the background up there, I'm pretty sure Hogwarts is located just behind the Windows XP hill. What the password for the portrait, Harry? No, I don't care about your bean addiction. Leave me alone. Honestly, the time collecting all the beans would be way more time than the time I would save knowing the passwords to the portraits. I think I've gotten lost. I think I'm on the seventh floor. Like, isn't that where the common room is? But I only went up one stairs so I'm not sure where to go god damn it I can't find her anywhere forbidden Carter yes finally Harry I think someone's making a move to steal the philosopher's stone well if you just moved in without me you could have fixed this promise me you'll be very careful wait what do you mean you're telling me I have to go in they just volunteered me to go in instead of them like you were just waiting here the whole time meanwhile the house point our glasses. Oh, uh, not now, Dumbledore. This really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm facing life or death. And meanwhile, Dumbledore's like, Let's count some sand, shall we? Don't worry, boys. I brought my flute. <laughs> Ron is smiling. He's happy he's gonna die. Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Okay, I'll play the exact same tune I played Hagrid. I call it Traffic in the Morning. Uh, it's just making him angry. Oh, it didn't work at all. Yeah, this tune works much better. I don't know why anyone doesn't like my original composure. Fall on run, fall on run, fall on run. Ah! Oh. Harry just immediately jumps in without even looking. Yay, death! <laughs> But other than Suicidal Harry, honestly, these parts are pretty good. They're pretty close to the movie slash book, you know, mixing in their own little mini games when needed. Developers who made this game, if you're still alive, uh, do more of this stuff. Thank you. Oh, look at them. Conveniently going to safety. <laughs> I'll deal with this. Ah! Okay, I am slain. <laughs> I guess you two have to solve it from here. They're not even making a move. They don't care. I have no idea how to progress. I see one is kind of being highlighted, but it doesn't seem to make a difference which one I attack. Ah! Oh, I am dead. <laughs> Stop my toe. Big boo-boo. I'm dead now. Okay, this seems to be working. I'm only attack- No, I didn't mean to attack that one. I'm only attacking the highlighted ones. <laughs> Oh, this is much easier. I'm just using the manual aim and staying way back. And it does seem to be working, one at a time. Wait, don't don't tell me he's going. What? Okay, good, he's coming back. I barely scratched the thing. Oh, for God's sake, I stubbed my toe this time again. Incendio! Okay, I'm finally at the end. Now, please, get this. I know this is going to be annoying, but wait, actually? No, this went really well. Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here hate being rescued. They wanted to stay there while I did all the work. You know, I was kind of relieved I didn't have to do another Quidditch game. Because, like, they're fine, but when I'm doing the whole game in one sitting, they're a little bit repetitive. And I thought I got away with it, but I'd completely forgotten this part of the game. Where it's basically Quidditch without a paper crowd cheering me on. Maybe we can add it in post. Wahoo! Go Kevin! Alright, that wasn't quite the same. Oh, it's getting hard the closer it gets. The movements are erratic, but I'm just hanging in there. Yes! What can I say? When you're good, you're good. Now, I've done two, so that leaves one each for you guys, and I'll watch the next ones. Right, guys? Right? The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. How do you know? <laughs> what? I hope he's all right. All right, he's only been in the two seconds, so it can't be that bad. Oh, he's dead. Okay. It's up to you now. Convenient. He just went in and lied down on the floor immediately. Great. 
chess. And it's not even real chess, it's feckin' wizard chess. And by that I mean stupid chess. <laughs> it's not chess at all. Like, look at that, the friendly fire, and then they both explode. What does that mean? I'm just gonna stay here and let you fight amongst yourselves. Hopefully you'll get all crowded and just start a little bit of civil war. Excellent. You know, chess would be a lot more fun if the pieces exploded every time you moved. Wait, I can just, I can get a double kill here. Double kill. All right, same strategy. Just lay low over here and let them all run into me. Okay, this is going much better than expected. Honestly, I think Ron is an idiot for dying at this. You just have to sit there and be a pacifist. Oh, Hermione, you're just in time to do nothing. <laughs> I can always rely on you to show up when you're not needed. Oh no, it's waking up! Should we run or do you want to just stand here for a while and talk? Okay, let's stand here. Charm all of these objects out of its way. Oh, sweet Jesus. I gotta clean the hall so he doesn't wake himself up by bashing into things. I hate this. I just have to keep using the same spell and it sounds like he's doing some ASMR. Leviosa. Oh god, he's right around the corner. Okay, we gotta move. We gotta move. Move the chair and just feckin' go behind this pit. Hermione doesn't want to. She'd rather just hang out there. She's not even gonna look. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want the PTSD that would come along with this. I really want to go down, but I'm not gonna do that because I know it's a black pit. Looks like you'll have to choose the cup that contains the knight and the shield. I notice how you put it on me again. Luckily, I am very good at these and I don't think it's possible to trick me. <laughs> Yeah, oh no, he's out! God, I thought it was a reward! Okay, he wasn't that bad to beat, thankfully. Drink ice potion. Oh, there's only one, so do you want to go through? You know what? I won't even bother asking. I'll drink it. Mmm, ground potion. Great, Harry. But there's only one potion. Yeah, thanks for mentioning that afterwards. <laughs> oh my god, I'm all squelchy. Now this is some weird ASMR. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Finally, I face Hagrid one on one. Oh no, he's got knights in shining armor. No, 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 you goddamn simps. Why don't you fight for me, huh? Oh, how can I compete with PS1 Hagrid, I suppose? Look at him just standing over there watching me. <laughs> Okay, I've beaten him. Now can you just give up or something? Oh, what else do you have to cast? Oh, probably should have led with that. Oh, oh god damn it, I'm so close to beating him. It's gonna send me back to the start, isn't it? I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Does he have the same voice actor as Snape when he's in this outfit? Because again, you're forcing it a bit too much. Yes! You little tin can. <laughs> Voldemort's just cowering. I told you this building needed an engineer to check it out. Wait, how did that make your hood fall off? What? Damn you, Potter. At least his voice has gone back to normal now and it's not Snape anymore. He's a very good impressionist. It's a shame he went into the dark arts instead of becoming a ventriloquist. <laughs> Look at him, the creepy bastard just staring at him. How did I not see him over there? I have strength enough for this. Oh, I don't. You are ugly as sin. You look like a rotten potato. Why does he keep saying the Potter in German? I'm very fortunate in that he keeps trying to cast spells standing directly under these pillars. I hope he doesn't figure it out that it's not working to his advantage. You can't escape me, Potter. Surrender the stone. I can't hear you. You're facing the wrong way. Okay, all the pillars just collapsed. I know I have to do something with this. I just can't remember what it is. Ah, oh, it's this. Yeah, it uses mirror power. I don't know. And over the stone. Oh my god, the way he moves and everything. He's got a bit of rhythm. I think he'd make a good dancer. Hey, Harry. Uh, I'm not here to help you, by the way. You know, I, I'm gonna hide over here, invisible. Yeah, um, but I just wanted to comment on how weird of a scene this is because it's just this Jeff Bezos looking fecker who's been left out in the sun too long just sitting on top of you grunting. It's really disturbing. I, uh, I really hope that Harry defeats Jeff Bezos and his grunting. Good luck! There we go, I'm hurting him slowly but surely and he just keeps getting back on top of me and just doing his grunting. Feel the burn, no pain, no gain, right Jeff? My name is Jeff. Yes, I've defeated Jeff Bezos. Now, unfortunately, I will have to do all my shopping in Diagon Alley, so this might be the bad ending. Team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. You know what? I'm happy for them because they deserve it. You know, they lived in the dungeon the whole year. Gryffindor, 
60 points. Oh wait, no, he's just giving it to us because he likes us better. Screw all you guys, we're the main characters. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. I mean, he hated all that. It was miserable. I was nearly dying every time. The boy who lived didn't want to live, I'm afraid. Oh, and there it is. The entirety of the game. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you have any other games you want me to play through the entire thing. This was honestly a lot of fun. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It helps me out a lot. And check out some of my other content. But other than that, bye for now.